A few months ago, it was announced that Thor Ragnarok co-stars Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson were joining the upcoming Men in Black relaunch film. This weekend, some new casting announcements for the project were made with one very notable one. According to reports, the Big Sick and Silicon Valley star Kumail Nanjiani is joining the project as well. The reports also say that dance sensation twins Lay Twins and the big short actor Rafe Spall have joined the film as well. From Variety, the movie has started shooting in London. Director F. Gary Gray, who also directed such films as The Last Fast and Furious movie and of course Straight Outta Compton, is directing the movie from a screenplay by Art McCarm and Matt Holloway. Walter F. Parks and Laurie McDonald are producing with Steven Spielberg as executive producer. Kind of a little bit similar to the whole Sonic the Hedgehog situation. I don't know how I feel about them trying to do a Men in Black thing again. Now look, on the one hand, Men in Black is a very popular IP. It's a potentially very profitable IP. And so I can see the allure to doing it. And look, adding Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson a few months ago did get me a little bit more interested. But I'll tell you what, adding Kumail Nanjiani to this is awesome. Now the other additions, whatever, but Kumail Nanjiani, this dude is a comedic genius. If you did not see The Big Short, it absolutely was one of the best films of the year, deserved every Academy Award nomination that it got. It's a moving, powerful film, all carried by Kumail. Now, of course, it's based kind of on his life, but the dude is incredibly funny. If you watch his other work as well, he's got this incredible deadpan, dry sort of killer humor that he's so good at. And if he can really leverage something like that in something like a Men in Black, there might be something there. Again, like the Sonic situation, I'm not sure that I'm completely on board with this whole idea at all, but you got a pretty good director. You've got a pretty good leading cast in there, and it looks like they're building a pretty good supporting cast, especially adding Nanjiani in there. So, hey, look, maybe they got something good in mind. Let's just wait and see.